everybody welcome back Ruben with Texas all water fishing today I'm out here with a buddy of mine Eric we are out here in West Bay as you can see beautiful West Bay Galveston Texas we're gonna be fishing a little bit we're gonna fish a little bit of rocks and fish a little drops we're gonna fish a little oyster reef we're gonna fish a little marsh that's right over here as well we're just gonna fish and fish and fish and I am putting gulp to the test so you can see I've been in a, having a lot of gulp bit off already today so I'm gonna keep throwing some gulp I'm gonna change it up a little bit probably throw that cork that Woody's cork with that voodoo shrimp like always but thanks for coming back primarily I'm gonna be targeting flounder looking for that flounder you know this is the beginning of the run so we're gonna try to hook into some of the guys those flat guys that are running around but thanks thanks for coming back don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and don't forget check us out on social media links are in the description below thanks I knew these are specs. Oh, that's a little sand trout. It's a nice sand trout, actually. Uh. Oh, a little sand trout. I'm not gonna be too picky this morning. I'm gonna get with bites. Really just trying to fish these rocks right here. See if we can get into some flounder. And that little guy picked it off the bottom. think so dang another speck another trout little guy he's a little feel a little bigger a little bit of more fight to him oh my god <laughs> a pinfish on a goat i didn't know what it was because i'm like man this guy's got a little more fight than that that first uh come on now what was that Little red, little nursery here this morning. Trout. Ooh, that's a flounder. Get him, get him, Eric. <laughs> My boy with the first flounder on the deck. Yes, sir. First fish. On. So, on the board. first fish of the day. How big is Eric? About 18. Right at 18. 18, he baby. Kissing it. Kissing it, baby. <laughs> there we go. There you go. That was a good hit. <clears throat> yep. <clears throat> oh my god. What are you doing? Holy. That's like one of the, that's like the fattest croaker I ever caught. What was he doing on the bottom? He must have been between a couple rocks or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. like all of a sudden it, I felt a thump and then it stopped and it wouldn't move anymore. And as soon as I wanted to set the hook, he started moving. That's a big old croaker, man. Golly. You, go. you got him? Oh, I Look at that croaker. That's a nice size croaker right there. Yes, huh? What am I gonna do with him? Uh, I don't know. Look at him. Is that big enough? Yeah, I give him my land Okay. Come on, man. <sighs> Eric. Eric. Two gulps and two casts. Oh, come on. Again. A little sand trout. That's, that's uh, another one. Everybody, so I just caught a very nice flounder. I was swimming it. I'm really testing, didn't test, push the limits of gulp today. So I was swimming back a lure. Instead of normally bouncing on the bottom, I was just straight retrieving it and it latched on. Eric caught a nice flounder a minute ago doing the same kind of technique just a straight retrieve at first I really thought that I had a trout on because let's just face it I mean it's flat conditions already seen a few trout um, hooked up to 
maybe one or two sand trout saw another trout getting pulled out of the water so this is a uh, it was a flounder so it was a nice flounder again i apologize for the miss um the gopro ran out of batteries and i didn't get a beep or a notification that it had stopped recording so i thought i was still rolling so and honestly i hate when that happens it breaks my heart i can't stand it but this is a i'm still happy to be to have caught in a nice fish regardless but this is right here you see this is naughty hooker jig head chartreuse swim mullet gulp swim mullet we're gonna well, let's do this first let's let's secure them first they never like that I'll get this out of his mouth oh yeah he just inhaled it that was awesome yep they did he inhaled it I mean, it didn't go all the way down to his stomach, but he definitely um, penetrated that jaw. So we're looking about 17 and a quarter. That's what I'm about. It's a nice 17 and a quarter one. Got a got some parasites on him. We'll get that off. Nice guy. You cannot go wrong with gope. The only bad thing with gope is that they just get so tore up. They just don't. I mean, you can look right here. Four fish, and this is, I'm on my fourth. I think it's fifth fish, fourth fish, and I'm on my fourth uh, fourth gope. So, sand trout, pinfish, needlefish, I've been tearing them up. I think Eric's going to harvest this one. Eric, how many flounder you caught so far today? Four flounder? It's about 8.30. We've been out here for about a little more than an hour. Four flounder. I, I know I had one or two more bumps, and then I got this guy. So that's pretty good. You know, I'm hoping that we have a much better flounder season than we've had, than I've had last year. I know people just killed it last year, unfortunately for me. I think my biggest one last year about 18 inches so looking for a nice 22 24 inch this season little guy little red right next to these oysters which you can always count on life being next to them oysters Oh, I just missed his eye. I'm glad I didn't get it. A little baby red. Uh, little rat red. Picked him off off this reef. Making it a gulp kind of day. So I'm going to do it again. Having all kind of camera issues. So y'all missed that little baby bite. Eric just caught... Eric just caught a lizard fish. I want to show you. A lot of people don't know what kind of fish this is. Eric didn't even know what it is. But a lot of times, especially last year, year before, I caught a lot of these guys. They're not very attractive looking. They will bite you. They got some teeth. Oh, you got your net. Come on. Mm. You got your net. There you go. That's a lizard fish right there. Hit on his goat. This is kind of a bigger one that I've seen. But they kind of ugly little guys they will bite you though don't put your hand in there i've gotten bitten a few times and um every time i did whoever i was with always laughed at me and said <laughs> you're so stupid and i say yes i am you don't necessarily see too many of these guys but like i said a few years ago a few summers ago we saw a lot you know one of the funniest things to do is when you have one of these guys because they are so toothy it's throwing in your friend's lap no no not. i'm just joking eric i would never do that i knew some boots. you know how you take a lizard and you put it on your earlobe and they bite yeah. hey let's do this one no nah, i don't got no earlobe all right let's let that guy go 
He is gone. Yeah, that's so. I ain't got no earlobe. <laughs> Eric said, no indeed. Oh, yeah, that's funny. You're uh, pretending to throw a shark at your friend. <laughs> if you're watching. All right, everybody, so that's going to do it today. Ruben, Texas All Water Fishing out here with my buddy Eric. We came out here, West Bay, beautiful West Bay. And, you know, that's pretty much going to be it. The fish kind of got locked, y'all. Everything stopped biting. Got into a few more small things, but that 17 inch flounder was the fish of the day. And I caught it. I said, look, that's probably my only fish I'm going to get, Eric. And I missed it on video. And I was like, no, 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 you can catch more fish than that. But um, he's a liar because I didn't catch any more fish than that. So I don't like him right now. But no, I'm just joking. But hey, if you like what you saw here, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And hopefully next time you catch me hooking up. Oh, and by the way, I went through a lot. Look at all these. Look at that. Look at that. Let's get these out of the way. There's all my gulp. Gulp. Gulp, 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 gulp. Come on, Berkeley. Make them a little bit tougher for your boy. I appreciate it. Help a play out.